Okay guys, so today we're gonna do something really different and it's gonna be epic. What I wanna do with you guys today is going through all the steps necessary to do steel wool photography and that, my guys, with the GoPro. Now, I'm going to take you guys from A to Z all the way, you just watch this video and you're probably gonna be out and shooting tomorrow. Before we start with do that, I wanna show you the thing I made before, um, how we are going to do this. Now, normally you are going to use uh, something like this. You just uh, buy one of these and then you attach a rope to it and you swing along all the way and then you make the pictures. But we're gonna do it a little bit differently and that's why I, well, took some plywood, attached these guys so we can actually, Woo! So we can actually just um, swing it around and get a perfect circle. At least that's the thing I hope because I haven't done this yet. So this is gonna be a first for me and a first for you guys. So with that being said, let's just go and see how we made the thing so you guys can build it on your own. So guys, if you are not, uh, if you are too young to do this, just make sure you get a parent to help you guys. If you aren't, well, have fun doing it because we're gonna do it now. You see what I want to do before I go to a shoot like this is uh, make sure I, I know the location where I'm going to. So a little bit of location scouting. And that's what we're going to do now because you definitely want to know what you're going to shoot when you're there. And not that you have to look for everything when it's dark outside because that doesn't work. Trust me. Oh god, it's freezing outside. This better not take off all night. I hope I get my shot in the very first things, but... Oh. Okay guys, I think we're here. So, welcome to the playground. Now, what I'm gonna be doing is checking for the best shot around here. So we got some stuff up there, but I really think that... You see it? This is gonna be epic. Let's get these angles. Guys, one thing I want to add to this is um, now if you look, look around at the playground, uh, something that's also really interesting is when you go out on your location, you actually are gonna see which mounts you need for the GoPro, especially for the GoPro because we can get those in really cool shots and really cool places you could not get with, for example, this camera. What I'm definitely going to be bringing is the Jaws Flex Clamp with the gooseneck. Um, maybe some roll bar mounts, I don't know, because I already have the Flex Clamp. Uh, then some tripods uh, to spread around. What I also did was make sure I got a GoPro attachment to it so I can always quick release everything. Guys, I think I'm finished. Um, the only thing I need to do is wait till the dark. I know all my angles, I know what settings I'm gonna use, and uh, I know what shots I'm going to try to get. Uh, hopefully it's, it's gonna be possible. Um, yeah, now we only can wait for the night to fall, get a little bit more cold because it's not cold enough here in Belgium. And see you guys back then. Right beats. Okay guys, so I am back here uh, at the playground and as you see it's nightfall. Now I redressed, I got in some old clothes uh, so I don't get any burn marks or anything from steel wool. And I also got my GoPro with me, I set it to night lapse mode. Uh, we're gonna take pictures at two seconds um, continuously with uh, an ISO minimum because I, I didn't see that there were gonna be some lights already here. So I'm gonna show you the settings right here. That's, that's 
it's easier and it doesn't take too long because it's really cold here. Just set up the shot with one of the GoPros. What we're gonna do now is attach this to our drilling machine. Okay, make sure it's spinning. Okay, here it goes, nothing. Hey guys, let me get me some light. That was attempt number one. I'm gonna put some more juice in it. So guys, second take. Okay guys, so I am going to end this video here because we ran out of uh, steel wool so we can't take any pictures. I'm just going to show you some pictures at the end, but in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe, like and leave a comment if you really like this video. I had a lot, a lot of fun making it and guys, stay creative, go with flow.